Hello Peninsula College students. This is a video on how to use the online portion of the Peninsula College Library. The first place you have to start, of course, is the Peninsula College homepage at pencall.edu. So we're going to go to Library. There are several, op several options under Library. We're going to go to Library Main. Now we're going to scroll down and it asks us looking for a book or looking for an article. Sometimes you might be looking for a book, either print or an ebook, but many times for research projects for any class at Peninsula College, you will probably be asked to look up articles, perhaps even articles in academic journals, which is basically a magazine for uh, PhDs and the articles are by PhDs, but we still ask you to read that stuff. If you are a beginning user, you would probably want to go to the subject list rather than the alphabetical list. So what is this a list of? It's a list of databases which have many thousands of magazines and uh, academic journals and newspapers that you can look up articles in. So we are going to go to the subject list. Now it says looking for an article. So we have a whole bunch more lists. So this one says all disciplines on top. If you didn't already know, a discipline just means a field of study. So this means the databases that are listed under all disciplines are suitable for any field of study. If you're looking for something in the arts and humanities, you might look at these databases. If you're looking for an article for business, you'd look at this database. There are also databases for ebooks, for education and library science, for history and social science, for news, for science and technology, and so forth. So we are going to go back up here. If you're a beginning user, I would recommend that you start with all disciplines. Now, there are two in here that are especially good. One is Academic Search Premier. Academic Search Premier focuses a little bit more on scholarly journals than some of the other ones. You might need to use articles from scholarly journals. Depends on what your teacher tells you that you need to use. This other one down here, ProQuest Research Library, is also a good database and it's a little bit more general. It has many, many scholarly journal articles in it, but it also has magazines and newspapers and more general works that are not necessarily by PhDs for PhDs. So we are going to click in here and this takes us to the user authentication page. This is where you enter your student ID number and your last name. I'm going to pause the recording while I enter my student ID number and my last name. Now that you've entered your student ID and your last name, you have reached this page. I'm not going to show you a whole lot more in here because there are other videos that will show you how to use search terms, but I will show you one little thing. This works very much like Google, and for our purposes I happen to be teaching a class focused on happiness, so I might enter happiness as a search term, and it gives me lots of options down there. I might click one of these two boxes. One says peer reviewed, which means it's kind of a code word for scholarly journals. And so the reading there is going to be a little bit more advanced. You might want to click that if your teacher asks you to use peer reviewed articles only. 
one that you are going to want to use is full text because otherwise you might just get a short summary of your article. You can also enter advanced search and have all sorts of other options to make your search more specific. You can add other words to it. You can focus just on a particular author. There's all kinds of things that you can do. But for now, I'm just going to leave it here and I'm just gonna search for happiness. I hit the search button and then it takes me here. I can, um, it has given me, whoops, sorry, I am down here too far, 193,312 results, so I might want to narrow that down a little bit, but you get the picture of how to do it. Any of these articles you can uh, save to your research, you can email them to yourself, you can print them, you can uh, click here to get the citation, you can save them. Okay, all kinds of things to make your job a lot more easy. One last thing to show you is when it says full text PDF, that means that there's a picture of the article and it has any graphs or photographs, anything like that uh, is, is in this PDF. What full text means is that it has all the words of the articles, but the graphs may be missing and it's uh, just the reading and it doesn't have any, um, it doesn't look like how the article looked in the original magazine. If all you see is citation and abstract, that just means that it has a short summary of the article. I hope this helps you and look at the other videos that I post online to help you with search terms.